Prince Charles and Camilla celebrate their 15th wedding anniversary, we take a look back at some of their highlights as a royal couple. From the moment they said I do, there have been celebrations aplenty, from royal weddings to countless royal babies, it's been a busy 15 years. In 2005, the Duchess of Cornwall attended her first royal Christmas service at the Queen's Sandringham Estate. The pair have had their fair share of services at Westminster Abbey. In 2007, they arrived alongside Princes William and Harry, marking the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. Four years later, they watched on as Prince William and Kate tied the knot. 2013 was a year for further celebration as the couple welcomed Prince Charles's first grandchild, Prince George. The pair were all smiles as they left the hospital after getting their first glimpse of the new royal baby. The last decade and a half has been filled with countless royal tours. How could we forget this moment during the couple's visit to Canada in 2017? The pair were like two giggling school children while listening to this traditional performance. Fast forward one year and the couple enjoyed each other's company as they took a stroll down the beach to round off their four-day trip to Ireland. During the same year, the couple welcomed a second daughter-in-law into their family as they celebrated Prince Harry's marriage to Meghan Markle at Windsor Castle. A few months later, the gardens of Buckingham Palace provided the perfect setting for the couple to mark Prince Charles's 70th birthday. 2019 was another year of milestones for Prince Charles as the royal family marked the 50th anniversary of his investiture as the Prince of Wales. So far, 2020 has been a busy year for the duo, with visits to London's Transport Museum, the Tower of London, and not forgetting their most recent public outing together, the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey, as the family bid a royal farewell to Prince Harry and Meghan. On their 14th anniversary, the couple had the honour of reopening Hillsborough Castle following a multi-million pound makeover. The castle is the family's official residence in Northern Ireland. Recently gone through the process of contracting this coronavirus, luckily with relatively mild symptoms, um, I now find myself on the other side of the illness, but still in uh, no less a state of social uh, distance and, and, and general isolation. This year, the pair have reunited just in time to celebrate their 15th anniversary, following 14 days apart in self-isolation after Prince Charles tested positive for coronavirus. <laughs>